Mr. Billis. Members wishing to speak to this, the Honourable Member for Calgary Glenmore. Glenmore. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It is my honour to rise today in the Assembly to respond to the speech from the throne as the member for the amazing constituency of Calgary Glenmore. The word Glenmore is derived from a Gaelic word, Morglean, which means big belly in English, and my name, Annam, is a Gaelic term for soul. Therefore, I'm pleased to say that it is my honor to be the Anna Morglean, soul of the Big Valley, by being the MLA for Calgary Glenmore. <laughs> Madam Speaker, Calgary Glenmore is a vibrant constituency that consists of highly active and engaged community members, leaders, and associations. It is known for its beautiful parks, landmarks, churches, synagogues, highly reputable schools, long-term care facilities, and senior homes. The uniqueness of this riding is evident when we look at the Glenmore Reservoir. The reservoir is the source of drinking water for Calgarians and also connects various parks of the constituency with each other, namely Heritage Park, the only living history museum in Canada to represent the Western culture, North Glenmore Park, South Glenmore Park, and Weaselhead Glenmore Preservation Park which is one of the three designated natural parks in Calgary. I'm especially proud of the recently opened Variety Park in my constituency, as it is an inclusive park for people with disabilities, the only park of its kind in Calgary. I advocated strongly for this park, which was able to open due to the strong support of our government and community members. In addition, Glenmore Reservoir connects the Calgary Canoe Club and Calgary Sailing Club, which is run by people with disabilities. I am also very proud of our government's Southwest Calgary Ring Road project that not only reduces commuters' time, but also helps further strengthen and connect our communities to one another. The other important places that offer services to our constituents and many other Calgarians on an everyday basis include Rocky View Hospital, Calgary Jewish Centre, Southwest Communities Resource Centre and the community associations of Brayside, Cedar Bray, Chinook Park, Calvin Grove and Eagle Ridge, Haysboro, Oak Ridge, Palliser, Bayview and Pump Hill, Lakeview and North Glenmore Park. In our riding, we have a variety of excellent schools that give parents the choice in education for their children. For example, there are Calgary Board of Education Public Schools, Calgary Catholic Public Schools, charter schools, private schools, and home schools. In the speech from the throne, Her Honor talked about all the work that's ahead of this government, and I'm pleased to be able to play a part in this. As mentioned by Her Honor, when our government was first elected, we inherited an economy in free fall. The boom had ended and the bust had just begun. But this bust was unlike others that had come before. Different not only for its severity, but in how we choose, chose to respond by working to make life better and putting the priorities of regular people first. We did not rest idle or turn our backs on the day-to-day -day needs of people and families. After years of overcrowding, hundreds of new schools have either been built or are under construction. More will be announced this year. Furthermore, we introduced a new school nutrition program to help kids get a good, healthy meal to start the day. This year, that program will expand. I'm proud to step up today to support our government's initiatives to ensure our children have access to the best education in schools of their choice. Another factor that makes our constituency so special is the fact that it borders with Sutina Nation Reserve. There has been a continuous engagement between the Sutina Nation people and the residents of Calgary Glenmore. In the speech of the throne, Her Honour mentioned that when our government was first elected, we made a government-wide commitment to make sure that the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples was respected in all policy deliberations. Hear, hear. Our government is working to keep that promise, and it is paying dividends. Initiatives such as affordable housing for indigenous people living off reserve, 
the Climate Leadership Plan, the Renewable Energy Program, the Curriculum Review, Work to Better Protect Children in Care, and more have all been strengthened because we engaged Indigenous people and their interests in a constructive and practical dialogue. The government will also take action in response to the Child Intervention Panel so we can do more to help vulnerable children and to reduce the number of Indigenous children in government care. Madam Speaker, when there is balance, there is fairness. And when there is fairness, there is success. Calgary Glenmore is a perfect example of this balance. And I'm honored that I have the opportunity to bring my constituents' voices to this assembly every day. Fairness is also at the heart of our government. And the speech from the throne highlighted this commitment. As her honor mentioned, when government fails to work for people, inequality rises. Since coming to office, our government has ensured that Alberta makes progress in building a fairer province. Our government understands that the people who work across our public sector are integral to the services Albertans rely on. We have already reached practical agreements with no raises and better job stability with many labor partners, including teachers and nurses, and a tentative agreement has been reached with our allied health professionals, such as paramedics, lab technologists, and x-ray technologists. We have also extended the pay freeze that covers all government managers for two more years, while also expanding its reach. At the same time, our government is committed to making sure taxes on people and businesses remain the lowest in Canada. Building on our work to reduce exorbitant salaries in government agencies, boards, and commissions, work that has seen salaries cut significantly, with some executives seeing their salaries cut to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, we will now focus on our post-secondary institutions. We owe it to our students to ensure that funding for education goes where it belongs, the classroom. Madam Speaker, I'm very proud to stand up for my constituents and work with our government to protect continued funding for our schools, hospitals, and the services on which Albertans rely. Those times are gone when the poor and the most vulnerable have been left behind in recoveries of the past. In this time of the economic recovery, our government makes sure that this recovery works for everyone. Therefore, our government is working hard to make sure every Albertan can live to their fullest potential by supporting our most vulnerable neighbors through improving income support programs. In addition, a review of the Persons with Developmental Disabilities program is being conducted to determine how best to support persons living with disabilities. Madam Speaker, families, children, and seniors are the center of Calgary Glenmore, and I'm proud that our government has made the well-being of children, families, and seniors as a center for our government as well. In the speech from the throne, her Honor talked about the fact that hundreds of thousands of families have received financial support through the Alberta Child Benefit and the Enhanced Alberta Family and Employment Tax Credit. Further, more affordable housing for people has been built and better supports for seniors have been introduced. Our government also pioneered a new affordable high-quality child care program so the paychecks of new parents go further. I'm looking forward to working with our government to expand that program this year. I am very proud to be a voice for the residents who work day and night for the success and sustainability of the communities in Calgary Glenmore. As a resident of Calgary Glenmore, I want the best for my neighbors. I want to ensure that my constituents are employed with good jobs that can support their families and enjoy the quality of life that makes Alberta the best place to live in. I'm working forward to participating in these steps our government will be taking to further diversify our economy and build a more resilient future. As more workers are finding more jobs in manufacturing, tourism, and renewable energy, and our economy is looking up, now is the time 
to help more Albertans find jobs in new areas of opportunity. There will be three bills aimed at diversifying our economy, with the first bill focusing on the diversification of the energy sector. This will help diversify the markets our energy resources can access via pipeline. We will also do more to add value to our resources right here at home. Madam Speaker, in conclusion, community building is my passion, and I will continue working hard to strengthen communities in Calgary Glenmore. The word community can be seen as the combination of communication and unity. Apt because to me, the key to a strong community is communication and unity. As such, I will ensure that my constituents are continuously engaged and involved in this process to build the best vision for our constituency and communities. Thank you very much. Standing Order 29-2A allows for five minutes of questions and comments. Seeing none, uh, the Honourable Member for La Companoca.